Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, Supernatural Investigations, Case 6, Bad Wives. Well, that's a lot, Chapter 3, and there's a horde of people coming on our way, and we gotta... We gotta stop them. Okay, okay, okay. Agents, I need your help. What's going on, Deputy Mayor? Well, a metric ton of hippies is coming this way. They want to rebalance the energy vortexes after Rainy Days' murder, but they're probably going to destroy evidence. We can't let that happen. Show us the way, Deputy Mayor. Okay. Is your Dowsy Rod ready? I only have a pendulum. Is that okay? Of course. Now, we must find the ley lines of the energy vortexes. They will rebalance the vibrations with dancing and chanting. Not so fast, guys. We have to clear out of here. This site is part of an active murder investigation. But by reharmonizing the energy, we'll be helping you find the killer. Yeah, no. Not really, no. You'll be potentially damaging evidence and helping the killer get away. Oh, dude. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, didn't think so. So, could you go have a wander in the desert? Sure thing, lady. We don't want more bad energy here. Two people? Is that what the deputy bear called a crowd? At least sending them off didn't take much time. Yeah, I expected a big crowd to come. Now we'll have to have another look around Cathedral Rock for clues. Okay. Yeah, murder scene. Ah, I don't need it, and now I waste it. I wasted 6,000 for nothing. Wow. Where is it? Oh, there. I hold this for nothing. I didn't get a star. Katria, you found a camera. It really did definitely left her mark, so let's unlock it. That's Rady's name on that faded document. It has to do with the county court. Seems serious. I'll grab your dusting kit. Uh, what could that broken doll be? I see something that looks like hair. Guess we'll have to put the pieces together to find out. Okay. Okay, let's unlock the camera. Okay, lots of files. You got to make this camera open, Katarina. But there are a ton of videos. Let's get to Hope right away. She'll find anything we might need. Okay. Okay, now the broken doll and... I know who's going to be. But why did you make... A doll of her. Well, Katrina, those fucking bits were an effigy. It reminds me of Justine Bankstone. That flower in chest I hear could even be hers. Look at the little white shirt and tiny gold jewelry. We know the victim practiced rituals in this place. Did she make this doll? 
We better go ask Miss Baxter about this FG and what it might mean. What, is this supposed to be the opposite? Voodoo? Alright, now the... The document. For what? Versus Zeki Davis, someone's noticed to appear. You heard by or to appear on the following date and that, that, that. Katria, the document you uncovered was a summons to appear in court. Rainy Day was suing that little loving environmental activist Zeki Davis. We better go ask Davis why the victim was suing him. Yeah, what for? Okay, first you. Um, Miss Bankstone, hi. I'm going to ask you a question about this effigy. Oh, that. Ready made that ugly doll of me and a creepy way out. Remember how I said we drifted apart? Well, in reality, Ready said she had to stop being my friend. Oh no. Why would anyone want to stop being your friend, Justine? I mean, Miss Bankstone. Rainy said that I had bad karma. That doesn't seem likely. I know, right? I'm pretty sure that she was just angry because I wouldn't invest in her healing practice or pay her way all the time. You know what, Agent Harper? You can call me Gwen. Gwen? You're so easy to talk to. Would you mind going out to dinner with me tonight? If you're free, of course. Uh... Oh, I... I do. Or rather, I am free, I'm in. That is... I mean, I'm on duty and we must wrap up this investigation. But I hope you don't turn out to be involved. Shouldn't say anything. Come on, you finished with Pierce and now you want to go to... Women. Mr. Davis, we need a few moments of your time. We discovered that rainy day, the murder victim, was suing you. Ah, that stupid lawsuit. Yeah, she was suing me. She claimed I was denying her access to the caves. And where are you, Mr. Davis? Well, sort of. Okay, yes, I was. She'd come down here before sunrise and start chanting. She claimed the vibrations were healing the entire town. But she was damaging the poor little ear holes of the Celadon dragons. They tried to flee, but it caused a while long outside this cave. So many things pose a threat to them. I can't even have my spirulina capsules down here. But I hear a lady wouldn't listen to me. So, did you make her listen, then silence her forever? No way. I want to protect life on this planet, not harm it. Oh, but it could be you, man. What's on this camera? You know what would be super useful, Katrina? If all the supernatural hunters of the world cooperated and maintained an online database of all the spooky creatures in existence. Why? What are you looking for? Oh, nothing in particular. Just reflecting on potential improvements to our operating structure. Right. Anyway, did you find anything interesting on the victim's camera we sent you? Yes, looks like the victim had a little run-in with a municipal politician. Give it a gander. gander. Alright, what is it? Rainy day, you must vacate this park at once. I heard you the first time. I have as much right to be here as anyone else, Deputy Mayor, and you can't kick me out. Oh yes I can, we've talked about this. Well, smile, because you're on camera, and I'll show the world that you're infringing on my rights. Give me that thing, you can't film me without my permission. And the footage gets cut off. Whoa, okay, so the deputy mayor and Rainy Day knew each other well enough to have a fight. 
Let me guess, that doesn't agree with what the deputy mayor said before. Yes. Exactly. The deputy mayor told us that she couldn't put the victim's name with the face. That's clearly not true, so we'd better have a little talk with Melissa Roan Horse about the fight she had with the victim. You lied to us. Miss Roan Horse, we come across some footage of a fight you had with Rainy Day. Care to explain? What is there to explain, agents? This day was a troublemaker. Funny, earlier today you claimed you wouldn't know her face. Okay, I should have been straight with you. I had indeed warned Rainy Day about holding her healing sessions in tribal sacred space. All these hippies mixing belief systems together until no one knows what's what anymore. They play Navajo food like children at the record recital. They don't have the spiritual connection to playing the instrument that I, that I and my forebears have. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes those new age types have cool ideas. Spirulina smoothies aren't the worst thing ever if you add enough pineapple juice. A tarot readings can be a lot of fun. But all those shenanigans in tribal sacred spaces, enough was enough. Did enough mean driving a crystal into Rainy Days' chest, Deputy Mayor? For this town's sake, I sure hope not. Okay. Hmm. What is it? Are you thinking about Pierce again? Ugh. Okay. Alright, oh, Ktria. Sorry, it's just... That thing we just did is kind of on my mind. Oh, please. I shouldn't even think of seeing her until she's been cleared of murder anyway. Besides, with the mood she has been in today, if you found out I had a new crush, he probably ground me. I just can't believe you finished with Pierce and now you want to go on women. Anyway, I don't think it was just Steen. Melissa Roanhorse, on the other hand, she had a fight with Rainy Day about the victim's tagging sessions on sacred land. And as for Zeki Davis, the victim was suing him for harassment for not allowing her access to the crystal cave. You're right, Clea, the murder weapon came from that cave. We need to go back on the ground for a second look. Okay. Kadri, I found a pack of tarot cards. We know the killer uses these, but how can we know that these cards belong to the killer? You're right, let's have a look at them. If the High Priestess card is missing, this tarot deck belongs to the killer. I don't see the High Priestess card. This tarot deck had to have been the killer, so let's get a sample of this greasy stuff off it. Yes. And I agree, that great the crystal cluster could be hiding a clue. Let's dig in. Rainy Days is killer better beware. We're closing in, Katrina. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
You got a sample that greasy goo from the killer's tarot deck, Trina. Let's get to Priya. Okay. Okay, now let's look through this crate. Oh, that's just what we are looking for. A piece of loot. Hey, Katria. Looks like you found a piece of wood in those crystal chunks. Oh, wait, you're right. It's shaped like a flute. And it's missing the belt piece. This is the rest of the Kiros Navajo flute. Let's get to Priya for analysis. Yes. What's the creamy substance? Well, I can tell you one thing, Katarina. The girl needs to stay out of the sun. Okay, why? Oh no, please don't tell me that we are dealing with another vampire. After Pierce, I have had my fill. Thankfully, no. The sun from the tarot deck is every was a sunscreen with special antioxidants added. The girl uses this particular sunscreen to add extra protection for their freckles. Yeah. Well, Katrina, the crew won't have to worry about protecting their freckles from the sun in jail, will they? I haven't noticed any freckles on our suspects. What about the flute? So, Katria, I fitted this Navajo flute body to the belt piece you found at the crime scene. It's a match. It took some time, but I was able to extract some DNA from the holes along the flute body. As the kid played the flute, their fingers left skin cells on the hole edges. And what did the DNA say, Priya? Preliminary test results show that the kid has brown eyes. Like Justine, she has brown eyes. But she doesn't have freckles. You're right, Katia. Pull myself together. Brown eyes alone do not a killer bake. All the evidence needs to match. Well, Katria, looks like we have all we need to arrest the killer. Let's do this. Of course. Who did it? She's not. So good for, for Gwen. <laughs> So it was you. But you so pretended to like victim and us, but you were just hiding the fact that you were so mad at her that you wanted her dead. Jesse Adams, you're under arrest for the murder of rainy day. You gotta be joking, agents. We're not. You took a crystal from the case underneath Cathedral Rock and you stabbed her. But I wouldn't have heard Rady for all the copper in the world. And yet you went to a healing session and stabbed her right in the heart. I... I lost control myself, alright? Look, I'm a stressed out person. Rainy helped me deal with that. She seemed to understand me on a whole other level. She became my rock, my emotional anchor. I... I fell in love with her. Stabbing the object of your affection through the heart with a crystal isn't exactly an expression of love. I didn't mean to stab her. I brought that crystal to her as a gift. A token of my love. Let me guess. Rainy rejected you. She did. After all her words on how she'd be there for me. Rainy, the one person I relied on for emotional comfort. She betrayed me. All the peace I had achieved at her side left me in that moment. I saw red and I stabbed her. Hold on, you're not selling that blind rage stuff to us. You selected a tarot card before the murder. And you reversed it for greater symbolism. You knew exactly what you were doing. In that moment I only knew that Randy had to answer for betraying me and my feelings the way she did. 
Oh come on, not returning someone's love is a betrayal. You decide to punish her because you didn't get what you wanted. Yeah. And you answer for your crime. You're under arrest and we are turning you over to the deputy mayor. Yeah. Ages, why is the state's youngest copper billionaire in handcuffs? Well, Deputy Mayor, Jesse Adams killed Rainy Day. But since this is a federal crime, he will be processed to at our level. So Guaro County can handle him. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Adams? I admit I did it. My feelings overwhelmed me. Rainy brought me my peace and my ruin. Nobody brought you to ruin except yourself. A millionaire or not, you are going straight into a jail cell. But I can't go to jail. I'm a CEO. I have a business to run. Not anymore. You should have killed. Well, Katrina, despite the potential supernatural element of our victim being a spiritual healer, this turned out to be a normal human murder. But yeah, I agree for that. And it was committed out of thwarted love. I can't stand that sort of killer. Love is meant to inspire you to be better, not more murdery. Speaking of love, Jesse is clear of all suspicions, so I guess my date is still on the books. I'm gonna go change. Okay. Okay, I won't question anything else because I already did. Something wicked this way comes. Okay. Alright, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing it. Something with this way comes. Number one. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!